This is the Tropical Orb Weaver, one of the bulkiest bodied and most unsettling looking orb weaving spiders in the world. And chances are, if you live in the southeastern United States or the Neotropics, one of these giant spiders is hiding near your house right now. While this is one of the most common species in the Americas, its strange habit of building a new web every night and only coming out to hunt at night can make it hard to find. Today, we are exploring the scrub habitat in South Florida at nighttime in search for one of these elusive animals. All right, I'm shining my light on the trail and I think I see what looks to be a big spider in its web. Let's go check it out. Check this out right here. This right behind me is the web of a tropical orb weaver a nocturnal species of spider that sets its webs out in these open areas during the nighttime. So let's learn all about this massive spider and why they only set their webs out at night. So this right here is the tropical orb weaver, which is a very large species of spider, as you can see compared to my hand. And it is one of the larger sized orb weaver species that we get here in Florida. The tropical orb weaver is one of the most common orb weaver species in their mostly tropical and subtropical range. These guys can be found from Northern South America through Central America and Mexico, up into the Southeastern United States and throughout the Caribbean islands. But they can be found in a variety of habitats, though mostly you tend to find these in more open spots in the middle of wooded areas. In this case, it's in between two trees in a scrub environment here in South Florida. But you could also find these out in urban areas, in cypress swamps and pine flatwoods, in rainforests, in a variety of different habitats. As long as there are open flying zones for insects, enough trees for them to build a web, but also enough open areas for these things to be able to make a big orb web and have a chance at catching some larger sized insects in it. Now these things are called orb weavers because as you can see, the web it's building is quite circular. And you can see it has these rows they're going in a spiral all around. Now this is because orb weaver webs act kind of like a cast net. So they'll set these circular shaped webs out in these open areas that are perfectly placed zones where flying insects will be flying. Now during the night, many insects that would be hiding underground or underneath logs or in trees will be going out for their flights to breed or find food. And this tropical orb weaver knows how to take advantage of that. They will set their webs up during the nighttime out in these open insect flight zones. And as you can see already, a beetle has been trapped in here. Once an insect flies into here, it will immediately feel the sensation of the web shaking. In fact, the shaking of the web is almost like an extension of this spider's nervous system. Once it feels exactly where in the web an insect like that beetle right there has landed, it will then immediately rush to it and wrap it in silk give it a venomous bite to demobilize it and keep it stuck there until it dies and until the insides are liquid enough for this spider right here to eat it. Now the tropical orb weaver is quite a large and stocky bodied orb weaver species and while the adults all relatively look the same which, which are this brownish coloration with lots of dense hairs and very round and stocky in appearance, the juveniles are a lot more variable. Oftentimes you'll see them these bright greens, these bright reddish oranges, or these bright yellow colors. But that color fades away with age, and most of the adults stay this brownish color right here. This spider right here, the tropical orb weaver, is completely nocturnal. In fact, they will spend the daytime in whatever bush or tree they're using as a stalk for their web. And as you can see here, this individual is actually building its web currently. And that is because tropical orb weavers actually destroy and rebuild their web every single night. You will not see a tropical orb weaver web left out in these open fly zones during the daytime. And as you can see, it's not completely nighttime yet, it's starting to get dark. And this tropical orb weaver is getting ready for a long night of work looking for food. Meticulously building this web, a very detailed orb, row by row by row all around the orb. And as you can see, it hasn't even finished its web and it's already caught some prey. And it still has a lot of work to do. As you can see, the center of this web is still not filled in with the rows of silk. The silk of this spider comes out of some appendages at the end of the abdomen that are called spinnerets. The spider secretes the silk and is actually using its back two legs to help push the silk out of the spinnerets and position it into the perfect spot on this orb to make a row on this web. These almost never waste their silk. In fact, when the sun starts to come up and it's time to take the web down during the daytime, they will actually eat their silk 
and they can replenish most of the resources they used to make the silk for the previous night's web. Now this might be a pretty scary looking spider to you at first, but don't worry, these spiders are completely harmless. While these spiders can often be found in urban areas, I'm not in an urban area right now, I'm in a scrub environment. But I have seen these in more urban areas, like close to houses. There are many reasons why you should not fear and actually should respect these spiders. Number one, these are nocturnal. They spend their days, like I said, hidden in little curled up leaves or little corners where you don't see them. And if you have a flashlight with you during the nighttime, it is extremely easy to spot these spiders' as webs. As you can see, I spotted this super fast. The second reason you should not be afraid is, like all other orb weaver species, this spider, while venomous, is harmless to humans. A bite from an orb weaver will cause a little bit of itchiness, maybe some local pain, but nothing much and definitely less than like a wasp or a bee sting, I would say. And third, these are actually extremely beneficial. A lot of pest insects like mosquitoes often make their biggest flights during the nighttime. And guess what's gonna be here to net up all those insects that you don't want around your house during the nighttime? This tropical orb weaver right here, or any other nocturnal orb weaver species that'll be setting out their webs out in flying areas for these insects. Now obviously I'm not going to pick up this spider because it is doing some very hard work right now and the last thing I want to do is disrupt it. But we were able to get super up close with this beautiful arachnid and I hope you enjoyed learning about this special creature right here. But let's leave it be and catch some more insects out in this Florida scrub environment.